Suzuki are out of MotoGP by the end of the season 2022. Today, I will tell you what exactly is going on behind this leaf. Hi everyone, this is Go Grande. Before we start, please like this video, subscribe if you haven't been subscribed, and comment down what do you think is really going on behind Suzuki Lee from MotoGP. So Suzuki have very, very solid history in the past of MotoGP. They have transformed from 500cc, quit MotoGP, and then they went back uh, in 2014, they made this announcement in, in 2015. I remember seeing these guys back with their initial team. By the way, look at this picture. Isn't it hilarious how young Vinales is here? Looking great, Maverick. And Alice just doesn't change at all. Wow. All right, so um, they had six world championships. It goes way back to the story of Barry Sheen in 1976. I believe it's a great team. We see their true potential this year. I like this. They have improved so much in comparison to Yamaha. They have more or less same type of inline four engine, but they managed to improve this top speeds and results are speaking. Look at the Alex Rins. His standings are number four with 69 solid points. Bravo, Alex. So what's going on behind this leaf, guys? Today I talked to my partner, who happens to work right in the paddock of MotoGP. So I mean, it's not new to anyone, but yes, it is actually true. On Monday, they were informed by headquarters that by the end of the season, Suzuki will no longer be a factory team. I mean, it won't exist. If you remember the Kawasaki leaf in 2008, but Dorna made them help Marco Melandri pretty much they gave him an official support an official more or less an official bike for the remaining part of the season which was great I believe the whole team just worked for him but um, they're no longer there what's going on with these chaps so are they sick of it are they sick of Dorna rules that's what people say in the paddock I don't believe this I believe it's a matter of marketing not even budgeting so they know what they ultimately want to sell motorcycles just like anyone else yes european manufacturers have different set of mentality which i understand way more it's about the perfection and selling a super ready product that has proof that it can win races and Suzuki understand that this is a different type of budget. And Honda is a huge conglomerate in you. It's very hard to be competitive with it. So why not create a very good decent bike, which they already have, like G6R, 1000 and CCs. And it's a very decent bike for a Japanese manufacturer because uh, it has more or less okay electronics, but we're not here to talk about this. I think they just realized that just like Kawasaki, you know, we can find something else and move there and it's gonna be cheaper and it's just gonna have more effect. So Kawasaki, they have chosen another niche and they decided to dominate there with very simpler budgets. But now, what's really going on behind this leaf? So my friend who works in MotoGP paddock has called me and he told me that yes, it's because of money mainly but there's something else going on that nobody knows yet. There was another incident like this with Suzuki being bankrupt in 2020. Yes, this is a year when Joan Mir won his title. What a weird coincidence. And if you also remember, Alex Rins was so depressed. What was going on inside of the paddock? Now, these are rumors from the paddock. What they told me is that in 2020, Suzuki started with that close to being bankrupt. So, according to the legend from the paddock, Dorna decided to help them out by providing Joan Mir tires that nobody else had in the whole paddock. So, according to those paddock legends, these guys had special tires on the Joan Mir, and Alex Rins was so depressed. He never spoke about things. But he was, I remember him being depressed, but I th really think it was because he couldn't find the right settings uh, to ride, I mean, right approach to in style to ride this bike the way 
uh, Joan Miro is doing and being very consistent. This is another reason why he won. He was so consistent. But if we believe in this theory, we don't know. But what I know for sure, and what they told me as well, is that Dorna is very, very angry. They will not allow Suzuki to simply walk away like nothing happened. Obviously, there are obligations in the contract. However, they will make Suzuki to do something about their writers and they're gonna pay big bills. I don't know if it's very good and gentleman of Suzuki to walk away out of its obligations uh, even before the mid-season, not only by the end of this season. And Suzuki were doing just great. Look at their performance. They overperformed Yamaha in my opinion. Their top speed is better for the same uh, same inline engine. With Suzuki leave, the place remains open. They are following contenders, in my opinion, who might use their chance and take this place. Mark VDS Racing. Leopard Racing and of course a Spar race team. A Spar would be happy to get back because uh, I don't feel good for Horik. He had I took his place and uh, pretty much told him to okay if you don't have money with this old financial crisis you just walk away. And it's such a shame again for Suzuki. It's a factory team. It's a face of the brand with such a huge long story and they just walk away when some non-official third-party team I mean I'm saying this in a nice way I don't mean that Aspar isn't a good team but still it's a private team they managed to somehow survive the crisis and if you look at the budgeting how it's being done in the non-factory team it's pretty much survival so it's pretty much break even by the end of the year this is the best case scenario once one of these sponsors is out you really have to squeeze your budget and make some huge serious cutoffs and factory team is out what does it tell me i mean it doesn't tell me any good things you guys want to look at the team suzuki sponsorship this year so if you look at the MotoGP commercial guide for every single team everyone has sponsors and title partner i mean i mean every single factory team X-Star is the title partner, the base, Suzuki X-Star base in Milan. And Livio Supo, he just walked into the team and now all the stuff is going on. So, Monster Energy, Estrella Galicia, Motul, Akrapovic, Michelin, Enjiki Spark Blacks, 2D, Carbon Trash, Beta, Taichi, DID. These are serious sponsors and somehow this is not enough for the factory team to stay up competing. So what's going on guys? Is there a conflict between Dorna and uh, Suzuki X-Star? I don't think so. Suzuki's headquarters apparently think that, you know, where Suzuki, we don't need this stuff, you know, we don't have to prove nothing to sell our motorcycles and uh, we already won the title so and we're almost there this year we're very constant and stable so let's finish this project and walk away and this is why Carmelo Spalletti gets so mad I'm pretty sure that Dorna is gonna do everything to sue these guys and last but not least Mir is about to join Honda Repsol team along with Mark Marquez now this is a tricky one he has been riding an inline engine and they just want to put him onto the a uh, V4 bike, it's a rough bike like Honda. I think Paul Espargaro is just perfect for this bike. Give him some time. Remember Jorge Lorenzo? He was strong in Ducati, he adopted it eventually. We saw three uh, wins in Ducati in his career, it was great. But then uh, he walked into Honda Repso being so confident, but he just couldn't ride this bike at all. So it's a very hard bike to ride. And Paul Espargaro has more or less the same adoptive style as Marcus, not as close, but he could he really liked to ride bike roughly, not smoothly like Lorenzo. So now they want to switch another hard rider onto the smooth rider like Joan Mir. I don't think it's a great idea. It's really weird. Why? I mean, he's a great rider, but like he should stay with Yamaha, for example, in my opinion. What? Alrighty guys, this was Go Grande. Please write down in the comment section what do you think is really going on behind this Suzuki Leaf. And remember, MotoGP isn't just a sport, it's an art. <laughs> <laughs>